I liked the, the idea of a composer because, you know, a, a music composer starts by saying, I can't do something that I already heard. But you're going to sit down and say, I'm going to do something new. And so I think that that's very important in medicine because if you sit down and you keep repeating what everybody else has done, you're probably never, never going to come up with something that can really change the treatment or, or the efficacy of the therapy. So by thinking in a very creative way and just pushing yourself to be different, you have those moments, wherever they come from, where these windows opens and you can use that opportunity to come up with things that, you know, could make big difference for a lot of people, right? And that's, that's the idea. I switched as an undergraduate from music performance in Texas to uh, biochemistry, and the switch was, in fact, to study aging. I soon realized that Los Angeles was, in fact, the mecca, was the, the central place for aging research. I was really interested in mortality and immortality at the time, and, but I also thought what an incredible opportunity to uh, intervene in medicine about 10 years ago here, I founded the, the USC Longevity Institute, and the idea was to bring together the molecular biology of aging and longevity with the clinicians, and we wanted to have this interaction uh, to be much closer, and now we have over 40 clinical trials either ongoing or about to start all over the world. I noticed very early on, if you take bacteria, you take all the nutrients away, they live a lot longer and they become also very strong. From there, I really started developing the hypothesis that it was no human and mice and yeast and bacteria. All organisms were really obeying the same rules. I always use the analogy of an old wood burning train. So it's running out of fuel, it cannot make it to the next train station. So the engineer now says, let me go back in the train and pick the chairs and the walls that are made of wood and I'll burn those. Wouldn't it make sense to take the worst components? Whether you're about to be a cancer cell or you're a cancer cell, this moment of starvation is gonna kill you preferentially and then set up the stem cells to be activated and be ready so that during the refeeding, the cancer cells now are getting replaced by the good normal cells. We realized that the oncologist did not wanna fast people and the patients did not wanna fast. Then we, we started uh, applying for grants and got funded to develop fasting mimicking diet. That's what I call them. Jumping ahead 10 years, this fasting mimicking diet now is being tested in many different clinical trials. After we published the first work, we started getting lots of cancer patients almost daily asking, what can I do? Once I realized that uh, this was probably gonna be the first opportunity to bring aging research to the masses, I thought it would be good to start thinking about actually having a product that people could use. It was important to think about a foundation that focused on creativity, but also on the type of approach that we had been developing within the university to treat cancer patients, uh, patients with autoimmunities, patients with diabetes. The original idea was to bring in creativity into science and medicine. We have countless stories of people being cured when everybody thought, this is it. And, and so we started thinking, this should be available to everyone. You know, whether you're rich or poor, uh, this is something that is really important. And, uh, and surprisingly, it's non-existent, right? So most big hospitals, uh, or if not all of them, don't really have a team like this that uses the molecular biologists, the dietitians, and the uh, physicians as a team. So it creates cures, the patient comes first, and uh, uh, independently of uh, whether they can afford the treatment or not. Take a very creative approach to cure patients, right? And cure also to us means uh, prevent patients from ever getting the disease. And it's really about uh, using creativity, focusing on aging, fo focusing on what I call the longevity program. And so we feel confident that we're gonna make a, a big difference and we'll see how many diseases we can affect either the prevention level or the treatment level.